Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sandy Bottom Homestead. Hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Um, just so you know, it's going to be storming soon. And this actually works out really well because I got to ask you guys a question. Do you think that you spend enough time in your garden or do you feel like you don't spend enough? Too much, maybe. Or do you not have time for your garden? What do you think about that? You know, I, I personally believe that every garden has a natural progression and you know, mine's no different. You know, I started off my first year, I had this bed and then the next year I had these, bed, these four beds and then I went a year and then the year, two years later, I had those two beds or the bed back there and then the greenhouse and also had the four beds here. And then finally, two years later, on the second year, we made these beds. And so gardens grow over time and they naturally take up more time out of your day. And I mean, I get a lot from people, you know, I don't have time for a garden. I'd love to have one, but I don't have time or I can't maintain it. And you know, that's just, that's not true. What that is, is that's an excuse and I'm not sitting here saying like hey if you have a garden you need to expand it because you can make time but as we get into the busy season of the garden and you know it's spring planting season summer planting harvesting will be coming up there are times in a garden when it is busy but we can manage all that and then have this time free for us to enjoy our garden and I mean that's why we put this swing up over here so we can sit out here and, and enjoy the garden you know, for the past two days, I've been redoing these beds here. Um, two days ago, I planted my sweet potatoes and you can see my slips are in the ground. They're looking a little rough, but that's usually how they look when they get planted. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye on them, make sure everything goes up. We've got some spares set aside. And then this morning, for instance, I came out here and I planted my corn. So. This takes a little bit more time and there are going to be times when you have to spend that amount of effort. And I mean, all this was essentially was clearing out the bed, weeding it, pulling the stuff out, making the rows, fertilizing it and planting. And really the same as over there, I just use seed instead of plants. Now that takes time, granted, but this doesn't happen all the time. This is a once, you know, especially for like the corn, it'll be in the ground for two and a half to three months. That's 90 days. So after this, all I have to do is just make sure that it's going okay and keep it weeded, especially at first. But it's not that bad. And there are times too, and I'll get into like how I manage my time towards, you know, after we do this part. But once you figure out how to manage it, 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 it really does make it a lot easier. So, it, you know, my day-to-day -day routine in my garden is very, very simple. And as a matter of fact, whenever I film my videos, unless I'm planting or something, which from, for right now, I have no more planting to do for the next month. So when I film my videos, as I'm filming, I'm doing my maintenance in my garden, believe it or not. And that's why a lot of times I'm like, look at what I found, look at this, look at that. And I don't really come out and do much more after that. You know, I come out and I look at my plants and I say, okay, here's our squash. Um, I don't see anything. I do see some pest damage here and here. So we know that we have a pest right now. Now I did the video recently about treating for the pest and we've had rain every day since then, just a little bit enough to keep the treatment from drying. So I haven't been treating. So I come out every day and I say, hey, look, here's a pest. And I remove it just like that. And I'll look over this garden, take just a few minutes. You know, we're doing it right now. I'm not gonna do anything super crazy because I'll come out in the morning and the afternoon and do it. You know, here's another one. Nope, that's not even one. And see, just like that, this bed's done. Oh, there we go. So we're just removing them. But you know, I'll look at the plants themselves. I'll look over here and say, hey, what does the tomatoes look like? Do they look pale? Do they, are they wilting? Is there any damage? 
and I don't see any of that right now. Now I have identified something in this bed and what it is, is I know I need to come out here and spend a little bit of time and trim up the bottom six inches of these tomatoes to get some airflow in there. So I do need to do that. That's an extra task that I need to do. But just remember, I don't have to do it all in one day. If I'm pressed for time, I can trim one plant. If I'm pressed, if I'm not, I can do all the plants. I can do one plant a day if I want to. You don't have to do it all at once. So give yourself a little bit of grace. You know, I come out here and we're on, we're on harvest watch right now. The kids, the, the potatoes about messed up. They're falling over. They're supposed to. They're finishing their cycle out. They are almost ready to be harvested. So at this point, we don't really have to do anything but wait for the top plants to die. And then we're going to pull them up and get our potatoes out. And that's it. We're done. You know, I come over here, same thing. I'm on harvest watch here. So I'm watching for the tops to die back. And I see, like for instance, I see this, for some reason it's wanting to bolt. So we will simply just remove that. And that's it. You know, what I do see is a giant onion. And I also see a lot of weeds, which is unfortunate, but it's very common, especially when you densely pack a plant in like this. Take these pepper beds, for instance, or this pepper bed, excuse me. And you see it's densely grown, it's filling up. At this point, it's just looking, say, hey, what do I see right here from this, from this bed? I see that the plants are doing well. I see that we have buds. We have flowers. I saw flowers. Yep, there's flowers over there. So we're just waiting for the peppers at this point. And there's not really a whole lot to do here. And we shouldn't have to do a whole lot. You know, so this is the great spring lull. Things are planted, things are growing. There's not much, there's not a whole lot of harvesting going on. I do have my snow peas over here that are loaded. So we're coming out every other day and we're doing that. But you know, you'll have crops like your blueberry, not blueberries, well, blueberries, they've been kind of busy lately, but they don't last a long time but your cucumbers, your green beans, your um, peas, stuff like that, they need to be harvested often. And so you will be coming out and harvesting quite often on those, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you wanna look at it. But for the sake of this conversation and time management, it does take a while. So, you know, I don't mind doing that. I personally, I think that's what gardening is all about is the enjoyment of harvesting your produce. So I look forward to it. And I welcome that, but it's all the other stuff. And I think a lot of times people think like it takes hours and hours to upkeep a garden. And if you want a totally perfect garden that does, just looks absolutely wonderful at all times, then yeah, you probably do need to spend a lot of time out there. But if you're okay with having a couple weeds here and there and stuff like that, it's not really a big deal. So I had a friend, uh, story time. I have a friend and she started a garden last year. She put in there lettuce, kale, tomatoes, and onions. And so they actually didn't even harvest anything out of their garden. And they still have the onions in it and the kale and then like stumps of other plants and stuff and a lot of weeds. And so I asked her, I said, you know, are you guys going to grow a garden this year? And she said, well, I don't really have time for it. And I was like, how do you not have time? She's like, well, it's all overgrown right now. I said, okay do this. I was like, when you get home, set a timer for five minutes and start clearing out the garden. And I was like, just stop after five minutes. And she's like, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I'm like, trust me, just do it. Just set your timer for five minutes. She calls me back and she said, 10 minutes later and it's all done. She said, I set the timer for five minutes. I had gotten so far through it. I just decided to finish. And the total time was 10 minutes to get that garden ready. Now, there's still other things to do, but the initial overwhelming task was done in 10 minutes. Come on, man, we got 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? You got 10 minutes to provide food for your family. And so that just kind of was an eye-opening exercise for her was like, hey, 10 minutes on the timer, go. How much can I get done? Now, you and I, I mean, look, we're gardeners. We know pulling plants out of a garden and, and weeding, it's not you know, it, it, it's not intricate work. It's easy to do, but it's something that will stop you in your tracks and then it will take it out completely. And so doing that 10 minutes and getting it done was no big deal. So then they had to add more dirt. I don't know if I have time. 
She said, I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. Now, she did have to go get the dirt, but when she got back, she dumped it in, raked it out. Three minutes. Three minutes. So now we're up to 13 minutes to get this garden prepped. And then it was, okay, now we want to plant. Hasn't planted yet, but it's not going to take long to plant. You know, dig a hole, drop the plant in the ground, cover it up, water it, walk away, and you're done. And that's the beauty of all of this is it doesn't take an incredible amount of time to do it. I've been coming out here every day and harvesting these blueberries and we're getting, we got, I mean, we got almost two pounds the other day off of them. So you can see we're coming up to the end of our blueberry harvest, but they are being absolutely perfect this year and delicious. I had to spend the time to take care of all of this. And other than picking the blueberries, I come out here twice a year and put a handful of fertilizer at the base of each plant. I do not water them at all. And then I come out one time in the winter time and I trim up all the dead and, o and old branches on them so they can regrow and that's it. And then we get provided food. And so this is a benefit of having something like this. Now I split all of my work up in my garden. And so in the winter time, I do a lot in the off seasons, I should say, I do a lot of my building, stuff like that which not everybody's doing that i understand but just like let's just say getting ready for planting and i can do one bed a week there's plenty of time you know i can just break it up into little sections so it doesn't take a whole lot of time um i can weed if it's winter time and the beds are empty you can weed all of the beds in an hour at most you know, and just go through and pull them out and get them done and move on to the next one. Amending, I mean, I do have the drip system, so it takes a little bit of time, but it's about 10 minutes for each bed. And then I'm, all I'm doing is I'm making my furrows and then dropping in the fertilizers. That's it for the, as far as like pre-planting and stuff like that in the wintertime. Mulching, you just drop it down, you know. But the majority of the season, what I'm spending my time doing is harvesting and enjoying the garden. I don't really spend a whole lot of time once it's planted doing that. And I'd be interested to see how much time you spend in your garden, you think working in it every week. Um, harvesting does take time, but you can manage that around what you wanna grow and how much time you spend in it. And I think that's an important thing to think about as we plan our gardens out and grow throughout the season, we pay attention to what we want to do. You know, take this sweet potato bed right here. The only thing I'm gonna do for this sweet potato bed is I'll fertilize it probably two to three times, I'll mulch it, and then I'll harvest it. And that's it. And so you don't have a lot of time going on into this garden right now, and that's an important thing because this is gonna sit here for 100 days, and I have four tasks to do, that's it. Now I planted the, the regular potatoes, the white potatoes, months ago, and I really didn't do anything for them. I came back and I held them, I mulched them, and that's it. I don't even think I fertilized them again. I, maybe I did fertilize them once, but other than that, I haven't done anything else. And so there's plenty of time to enjoy it. So enjoy your garden. And if somebody tells you they don't have enough time, explain to them the five minute rule. Give them five minutes. Say, hey, let's go out here for five minutes and see what we can get done. And you'll see, you'll be super surprised what you can get done.